Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. As you can see today I'm coming at you in my beautiful egg form because today we are going to be doing another wig try on slash review video. It has been a little while since I've done one of these. It's been like years since I've done a wig try on slash review video. Um, so I'm excited to get back into it. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Before we get into it however I want to mention that I have my new merch line that is only going to be available for the month of April. It is the the Nerd Tears merch line, which is what I'm wearing right now. This design comes in hoodies, sweatshirts, t-shirts, all over print shirts, crop tops, and phone cases. So there is a wide variety of products to choose from. Like I said, this will only be available until the end of April. So until April 30th. So if you want to get your hands on this merch, definitely don't delay on that. If you're interested in grabbing this merch line, I will have a link to my Teespring store down in the description, as well as on screen for you to check it out. All that said, Let's get into the video. So I was reached out to by I'm Style Wigs, which is a wig retailer. I'm Style Wigs sells lace front wigs. So their wigs are a bit more expensive than standard wigs, which is very normal for lace front wigs. Um, normal wigs will go for anywhere from like 30 to $50, whereas lace front wigs will retail for 70 to $100. So that is the price range that these wigs are gonna be falling into, the 70 to $100 price range. That's very standard, that's very normal. So if you're wondering, what the price range of these wigs are, that's kind of your ballpark. So I'm Style Wigs has kindly sent me three wigs to try on and review. I'm very excited to try them out. The first thing I wanna point out is that they come in these beautiful little fabric bags that say I'm Style on them. This is awesome. Usually wigs will come in just like standard plastic bags. So it's very nice that they go the extra mile to make this like such a nice presentation of, of like putting them in these nice pink bags. And of course they're pink, so obviously I love that. So right off the bat, I'm very impressed with this. All right, opening it up, it comes with a little pamphlet. Inside the pamphlet, it has a bunch of stuff like hair instructions, uh, questions, like what kind of heat you can use on these wigs, how to how to wear them. Um, so this is really helpful, especially if you're a first timer and you don't know how to style the wig, how to wear the wig, how heat resistant the wigs are. Um, this is really awesome and it's, it's beautifully designed. I'm just gonna point that out because I am somebody who has studied graphic design, so I very much appreciate the graphic design of this pamphlet. Very nice. It also comes with a deluxe wig cap, which is um, very helpful, especially if you are, like I said, a, a wig newbie and you don't have any wig caps of your own. So the wig itself comes in a plastic bag. So it has, we have the, um, the fabric bag and then we also have this plastic bag. So it's very well packaged, it's very well protected. That is awesome. Do I have scissors? Yes, I have scissors. Okay, good. I'm gonna need scissors. It's been so long since I've done a wig try on video that I forgot that I'm gonna have to cut this lace. All right, so this is an absolutely stunning wig right off the bat. I am super impressed. Let me just unpack it for you guys. All right, so this is this red curly wig. It kind of reminds me of Ariel. This looks like it's really nice and thick. If we look at how the fibers are holding up under this very direct lighting, um, it all looks really good. It's not overly shiny. It doesn't look overly synthetic, which is is really good. Um, you get a good amount of lace. So here's here's just like a little look at how much lace you get. So you get about that much, so about an inch and a half. So that's that's pretty good. It doesn't have a part or anything in it, so that's helpful. That's gonna allow you to like part it however you want. Some lace front wigs come with like a predetermined part, and you kind of have to like maneuver around that. Maneuver around that is that a weird way of saying that? Probably, but whatever. So it has a nice versatility to it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's super soft. I'm really impressed with it thus far. Um, on the inside, we have three French combs. So we have uh, two at the sides and then one at the very back to help keep it down. I find these very helpful with lace front wigs because you, when you use bobby pins, um, sometimes they show and that really kind of cancels out the naturalness of the lace front wig because lace front wigs are meant to look natural, right? They're meant to look like they're actual hair because they have the lace in the front. So when you have things like bobby pins in there, that kind of makes it look more like a wig. So the fact that it has the French combs in it helps decrease that factor, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, overall, this is hitting all the points that I typically look for in a wig. It has a good thickness. It has uh, the French combs on the inside. It has a good amount of lace. It's not overly shiny and synthetic looking. Um, so I'm very impressed. Um, so I'm gonna cut this lace and then try it on and we'll see what it looks like. 
All right, this is very fancy looking. Um, I just spat, that's disgusting, I'm so sorry. Yeah, this looks really beautiful. Like I said, it's a gorgeous color and it's very voluptuous. It's also very thick. You get a lot of hair, which is exactly what you want for a lace front wig. Um, having a thin lace front wig sucks. So this is a good thickness, especially for what you're paying for it. You want it to be nice and thick. It's got a nice little widow's peak on the front, which helps make it look more natural. And the bangs are nice and versatile. You can flip them any way. Like I said, it doesn't have like a permanent part in it. So you can part however you like, and it, it's totally gonna work. So yeah, I think this is a gorgeous wig and I'm very, very excited about how it looks. I'm gonna actually be gifting this uh, wig to a friend for one of their cosplays. I am a little bit jealous because this is a gorgeous wig and they're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Anyway, uh, very beautiful. Let's move on to our next wig. All right, wig number two um, comes with the exact same things as our first wig did. So it comes with the pamphlet and it comes with the wig cap. Wig number two is an orange wig. Um, which I'm using for a cosplay, which is going to be a surprise. Um, it's a very kind of obscure cosplay. So I feel like even if I said who it was, nobody would really probably get it, but like whatever. This is a short curly orange wig. And right off the bat, it, it looks like it has the exact same features as this wig. It looks very thick. It feels very thick. It's very nice and soft. You get the same amount of lace as the previous wig. So you get that nice kind of inch and a half ish amount of lace. The hairline looks really beautiful. Like it looks incredibly natural just looking at it without wearing it. Just kind of first impressions. It looks like a very natural hairline. So I'm very thrilled about that. And the style is beautiful. The color, it looks more orange on camera when I'm looking at it in my like little preview. Um, it looks more orange than it does in person. Um, we'll see how it looks when I actually wear it. Turning it inside out it has the same three French combs as the first wig did. So yeah, it's hitting all the points just like with the first wig. It's hitting all the points that I typically look for. Um, so yeah, let's try it on and see how it looks. All right, so I don't think this style really suits me very well. I feel like it just shows so much of my forehead. So I don't feel like it, it suits me very well, but like once I style it for the character that I'm using it for, hopefully it will look better. Um, maybe I'm just not used to this hairstyle. You know, do I just not suit this hairstyle or am I just not used to this hairstyle? Who knows? Um, but this is a very nice wig. Like, is it just me? It looks more brown than it does orange. It's definitely one that I would recommend. I just kind of wish that it was more on the orange side. Maybe while I'm editing this, I'll feel differently. Editing me, how do I feel about this wig? Let me know. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I, I think it will work beautifully for the cosplay that I plan to, to use it for because it's a it's a real live action character. So we don't want it to be overly orange. We want it to be more of a natural orange. And I guess that's kind of what this is, is a more like brownish orange rather than like orange orange. It fits really nicely. I didn't say this about the other wig because um, I totally forgot, but like the fit is beautiful. There is a lot of room in the wig cap for my hair. It feels very comfortable. It doesn't feel like it's squeezing my head at all. It feels really really nice and comfortable. So I'm very happy with it. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a good wig. It doesn't look overly shiny. Like it kind of has a bit of like a nice kind of bouncy sheen to it, but it doesn't feel like it looks artificial. It looks like it just looks like nice, beautiful, hair. So i um, very happy with how this looks. Last but not least, we have our third wig, which again comes with the pamphlet and the wig cap, just like the other two did. This wig is a long black wig. Oh, this looks beautiful. So I did have a long black curly lace front. And then my friend uh, cosplayed Isabella and needed a wig for her cosplay. So I lent it to her and I figured instead of like asking for it back, I would just get a new wig so that she can keep that one. Um, so that's what I've done here. And I am very excited about this wig. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Like look at those curls. Very nice. It doesn't look overly shiny. It looks like it has like a nice natural looking sheen to it. It doesn't look overly artificial. I feel like this is gonna be just like the other wigs in terms of like how it hits all the typical points I look for. It has the same three French combs on the inside. It has the same amount of lace there. And uh, it, it, it feels very thick. It feels very beautiful. I'm very happy with this. So I'm gonna cut the lace and try it on. We'll see how it looks. All right, I feel like this is again, a lot of foreheads. So like maybe I can just 
parted a little bit so that's not as much forehead. That looks good. So this looks beautiful. This looks very much like the wig that I gave to my friend. Um, so I'm very happy that it's a good replacement. Um, it's got a nice little widow's peak at the front to help make it look more natural. This is exactly what I was looking for. This looks beautiful. Just like the previous wig, it fits beautifully. It doesn't like squish my head or anything. Um, it feels very roomy. It feels very comfortable. I feel very happy with this. It doesn't look overly, like it has a bit of a shine to it, but it doesn't look overly artificial, at least from what I can see in, in, in the viewfinder. This is gorgeous. Very good value for what you pay, I think. So that is my review of I'm Style Wigs. A huge thank you to I'm Style Wigs for sending me these uh, wigs to review. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in snagging my Nerd Tears merch line, I will have a link down in the description to do that. Again, it is only available until April 30th, so be sure to to grab yours while you still can. As always, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Let me know which wig was your favorite. I'd love to know. And I'll see you guys all next time. But until then, Panda Faces, please be sure to take care. Bye.